everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet our double diamond table runner. It's a super easy pattern. It's basically double crochet stitches and chain one spaces. And where we put those chain one spaces is what forms our double diamond pattern. You can find this free crochet pattern on my blog. And as always, I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. The table runner measures about 13 inches across and the length is about 28 inches long. But you can do the repeat rows for the diamonds as many times as you want to for whatever length that you need. And again, you can find that information on that blog that's linked underneath this video. Let's talk about yarn. This yarn that I used is called Red Heart Stripes. And the color is called Preppy Stripe. And I thought that it was so much fun because it has greens in it and oranges and bright pinks and reds and goes right back into like golden and greens. And so this is a table runner pattern as far as these colors that you could use all the way from the first of all until you change out for say your holiday decorations. Or if you have holiday decorations in these bright colors, this would work as well. You only need one skein or five ounces of a super saver yarn or whatever yarn you're going to use. You need to use a medium weight number four yarn. I have not tried this with a cotton, but you certainly can. I don't see why not. And so what you need is five ounces of any medium weight number four yarn. We're going to be stitching today with our eye hook. The eye hook is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need your scissors and then you'll also need your needle for weaving in those ends. I have decided to do our demo using this orange yarn in a solid. That way we're not changing colors with the striping yarn. But of course, any striping yarn or variegated would be beautiful with this pattern as well as a solid. We're going to begin with a slip knot and then we're going to chain 40. And again, I recommend that you chain your beginning chain just a little bit loose because you don't want one side of your runner to squeeze in a little, okay? So we're gonna chain 40 chains, just a little bit loose. Once you have chained your 40 chains, we're going to begin by stitching one double crochet in each stitch across. We're going to start with double crocheting in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, Yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the second two. Now our chain three will count as our first double crochet, and then we stitch that one in the fourth chain. And now we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of those chains across. one double crochet in each of the chains all the way across. I have stitched a double crochet in each stitch across and again we started in the fourth chain from the hook and the chain three at the beginning counts as our first stitch. So we have 38 double crochets and on this project every row will have 38 stitches. 
we're going to chain three and turn. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet and it will on every row. We're going to stitch 11 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So that will give us twelve double crochets because our chain three counted as our first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next double crochet and then stitch one double crochet in the next 12. So one, two, three, whoops, got a little string there. Happens sometimes. There we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this one is twelve. But I'm going to count just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet in the next and then the rest of the stitches across. And there should be 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then our 12th stitch will go in that chain three that counted as our first double crochet. I'm going to go ahead and chain three. There we go. And so we have 12 double crochets, chain one, skip one, 12 double crochets, chain one, skip one, and 12 double crochets for row two. All right, let's do row three. We've chained three and turn. And again, our chain three counts as our first double crochet. And we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next nine. I stitched nine and our chain three counted as one. So we have stitched 10 double crochets. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next and double crochet in the next three. So that's double crochet in the next double crochet, double crochet in the chain one space, and then double crochet in the next double crochet. Now we're going to chain one, skip the next, and then double crochet in the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
we'll chain one, skip the next, double crochet in the next three stitches. So that's a double crochet in the double crochet, a double crochet in the chain one space, and a double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and then double crochet in the next 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we'll go ahead and chain three and take a look at it. All right, so now you can see that we're starting to form the double diamonds. We had 10, chain one, skip one, and then three, chain one, skip one, and then eight, chain one, skip one, three, chain one, skip one, and then 10 double crochets. Then we'll chain three and turn. For row four, again, our chain three counts as our double crochet, and we're going to double crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have eight because our chain three counted as our first and we stitched seven. We're going to chain one, skip the next, and now we're going to double crochet in the next seven stitches. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And two of those stitches, of course, were in our chain one spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to chain one and skip one, and then stitch one double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to chain one, skip one, and stitch one double crochet in the next seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now again, we're going to chain one, skip one, and then one double crochet in the last eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we're gonna chain three and we'll take a look at it. All right, so we have eight, because our chain three counted as our first and we stitched seven. Here's our first chain one, skip one, then we stitched one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain one, skip one. One, two, three, four. Chain one, skip one. Seven, chain one, skip one. And then we ended with eight. So you can see we have already our double diamond pattern emerging from our project. All right, let's do row five. Here's our chain three and turn. 
We're going to stitch one double crochet in the next nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus our chain three is ten. So we have our ten double crochets. We're going to chain one, skip one, and stitch one double crochet in the next three. One, two, three. Chain one, skip one. And now we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to chain one, skip one, one double crochet in the next three. One, two, three. Chain one, skip one, and then one double crochet in the next 10. Three, four, five, seven, here's nine, and ten. And I'll go ahead and chain three. And so what you'll notice is that row five that we just stitched is a repeat of row three. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten double crochets. Chain one, skip one, three. Chain one, skip one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain one, skip one, three. Chain one, skip one, and then end with ten double crochets. All right, and then chain three. All right, so now we're ready for row six. And what you'll notice is that row six is going to be a repeat of row two. Our chain three counts as our first. We're going to double crochet in the next 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus our chain three is twelve. Chain one, skip one, and then we're going to stitch twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12. Chain one, skip one, and then we'll stitch 12 more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops, there we go. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and whoops, get in there, twelve. Alrighty, go ahead and chain three. And we can take a look at it and see that our double diamonds are popping right out. And so now what we're going to do for row seven is we did our chain three, we turned, and now we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each double crochet and chain one space across. It'll just be a solid row of double crochets. And again, remember, every row will have 38 stitches, whether it's a double crochet or a chain one. We aren't adding or subtracting any stitches to our rows. So our stitch count will be 38 double crochets. I completed that row of double crochets across and again remember you're going to have the same number of stitches on every row which is 38. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue to repeat row 2 through row 7 five more times or more if you want a longer table runner but in order to do our diamond stitch or our diamond style repeats, you're going to need to repeat row two, three, four, five, six, and seven five more times. So on my table runner, you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six sets of my double diamonds going down the center of my table runner. Once you get to your last repeat, and again, you can do as many as needed for the table length that you are making. And once you get to your last row, instead of chaining three, we're only going to chain one, and then we'll add our trim to the edge. So here is my last row of solid double crochets for my repeats. I'm not going to chain three, I'm just going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to show you how to do the trim that I used. You can use any trim that you want to. I just like a simple trim. So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the first double crochet. Our chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to chain three. We're going to skip two double crochets and single crochet in the next. Then we'll chain three, one, two, three, skip two, and single crochet in the next. Chain three, skip two, and single crochet in the next. And we'll do this all the way across. Single crochet, chain three, skip two, and repeat. When you get to the end, you'll notice on your last one, you're going to need to skip three double crochets instead of two. So here's my chain three. I'm going to skip these three and single crochet in that last single crochet and chain one. And you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve chain three loops or spaces. We chained one and we're going to turn our work. And now we're going to be stitching in all the chain three spaces as well as the single crochets. And so what we're going to do is, again, the chain one does not count as a stitch, single crochet in the single crochet, and then in the chain three space, we're going to half double crochet. We're going to chain three, 
and slip stitch in the top of our half double crochet and then half double crochet again and then single crochet in the single crochet all right let's do a few more so that you can see half double crochet chain three which is a pico stitch slip stitch in the top of that half double crochet and then half double crochet in the chain one space again or chain three space again and then single crochet in the single crochet and this is going to form a little bit of a shell with a peacock on the top and gives us a nice edge on our table runner all right so we single crocheted in the single crochet we're going to half double crochet chain three slip stitch in the top of our half double crochet and then half double crochet again in that chain three space there we go and then single crochet in the single crochet And see how that looks isn't that pretty and we'll repeat this all the way across and we'll have 12 of those I've stitched the half double crochet pico half double crochet the in the chain three spaces and single crochet in between all the way across and again you're going to have 12 and then we'll single crochet in the last single crochet Cut our yarn, tie off, and weave in our end. Now, you need to remember that you're going to have to do this on the other end of your runner as well. So you'll join your yarn in and then just repeat what we did on this side. I'm going to take a couple minutes and tidy up my end. I have tidied up my end and here's my other end we joined in and did exactly the same thing with the other end of our table runner and now we have a beautiful double diamond table runner with a fun trim and remember you can make this as long as you need it for your table and you can use whatever colors of yarn matches your decor whether it's fall spring summer this table runner is perfect